very moved by what I've seen and heard. Mike, it is one thing to see uh, the big protests in places like New York and in Oakland and Los Angeles and Philly. It's another thing. It sort of hits you at a different level to see uh, these smaller, smaller groups, things like, you know, Occupy Youngstown, Ohio, Occupy Tulsa, Occupy Pensacola, Occupy Elkhart, Indiana, or Casper, Wyoming. What, what do you make of people choosing to do direct action like this in so many smaller, out-of-the-way places? Do you think that, how does that affect your understanding of the meaning of all this? It's, it's, that's, that's what's so amazing about this, and nobody's organized this. There's no structure, there's no um, um, email blasts going out uh, uh, through the due to the dues paying members. I, Saturday night, I was at uh, uh, Occupy Grass Valley, California. This is a little town um, as you head up into the mountains uh, up uh, toward Reno. And I'm thinking, this is an area that's got a Republican for Occupy Grass Valley. Uh, somebody told me there was 400 people at uh, Occupy Fayetteville, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. I mean, the media really hasn't been able to cover the breadth of this because it's happening in so many places and our newsrooms have been so decimated in the last decade that there literally aren't enough cameras or crews to cover all the small towns and villages and, and all the places I've seen this just springing up like, like it's just, it's just a, I've never seen anything like it, honestly, in my lifetime. You guys are right for the green, you know. Kind of weird. Yeah. Really long
programs, and SunTrust announced that it will drop its fees beginning tomorrow.